What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing a massive zombies theory here that is quite mind-bending, but if in any way, shape, or form correct, then it could change our understanding of the storyline of zombies forever. Now, with that being said, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, leave a like down below, it really does help the video and it does help push this theory out there to even more people. So, my friends, Ascension, Ascension is key. That was the name of a Reddit user that leaked some Shadows of Evil information a long while back, July 12th to be exact. Now, he claimed that he previously worked for Treyarch, that he had some knowledge of the early development of the map and some information on the intricacies and the storyline implications all along. He said that he had been there since the beginning, the World at War days, and that this year would hold many surprises in gameplay, and who would have guessed the story overall? Now the Reddit thread has since been removed, perhaps garnering even more validity to the at the time massively leaked information. Now that's all fine and dandy right here, but why is this now relevant? Well, rumor has it that these leaks were in discussion by employees recently at Treyarch. Not back then, not a few months ago, but now, right after the official reveal of Der Eisendrack, a map that, may I add, has some very similar ties to Ascension, or so the speculation goes. That speculation stemming from the rockets seen off in the distance. The first time that we've seen rockets since Moon, which, again, seems to hold some significance here to our story, but that's a tale for another video, and just before Ascension. Those were the last times that we've seen rockets here within the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. But just to feed that speculation, if you want to look at the items in question, the rockets, look at the Ascension loading screen. It features three total rockets, while only one of them is in the map at all. We don't see any more off in the distance, and there's only one total in Ascension. In Der Eisendrack, there are three off in the distance of similar build here, and one that has already launched or been removed entirely. Now, I'm not trying to necessarily theorize that the one in Der Eisendrack's backdrop that has launched or is missing is the one in Ascension, because I will admit, that's quite a stretch here, but it is fairly interesting to note that three and one crossing them over, they don't fit unless you look at Der Eisendrock. Regardless, the relevancy of Ascension is in question right now. Surely a map from early 2011 can't hold massive relevance to our story today. But if you're thinking that, you might want to revisit some of our videos in the past two days. We just saw yesterday an Easter egg from World at War hold massive relevance to our current story, and one in Shangri-La holding relevance to this story just a day before that, so relevance shouldn't really be a question here. But if we look at Ascension in a broad perspective, why is Ascension key? What was important about the map? The biggest thing that will probably stand out is Gersh. Well, despite the long convoluted story of Gersh being a Soviet scientist working on Project Thunder and later Project Mercury, also known as the Gersh device, and being the leader of the Ascension group and later being trapped in the Kashmir mechanism after being sucked into a black hole created by his own device, and yeah, you see where this is going. It's very long, convoluted, and very intricate. But despite Gersh being an extremely relevant piece to this puzzle, so much so that it seems that the map is focused around him, he may merely be a placeholder for the true significance of the map. Gersh's story after the main easter egg in which we free him from the Kashmir mechanism is relatively unknown. We don't know what endeavors he embarked on, what projects he worked on for the Ascension group, or any other group for that matter there afterwards. Gersh was simply a placeholder. Because the real thing to think about is that we don't know exactly why we went to Ascension just yet. Confused? That's good. Ascension was not our target because of Gersh. Gersh announced to the crew that the Kashmir mechanism needed to be repaired after we got there. Our characters did not know of the existence of Gersh until after they arrived at the site, when they got down on the lunar landers and it came into the map, that's when Gersh made his announcement that the Kashmir mechanism needed to be repaired and ultimately that he was there with them. So that means that they were there for another reason entirely. He's starting to get a little bit more intrigued as to why the name Ascension is Key is quite relevant now. Once again, good. This is where the theory gets good. There are two key pieces that play in directly with the notion that this is linked directly once again to our storyline currently. The first piece being Richtofen's outfit in the map. 
Another one being a change in the thumbnail of the map that happened a long while back here. So let's look at it and chip away at what we can here. Firstly, Richtofen is in a completely different outfit here. This is the first time that we'd seen this in the series. Previously, we'd seen him in his stereotypical German attire, playing directly into his backstory of his work with 935 and the Nazi party in World War II. And why wouldn't it? Up until this point, our story was relatively simple. Two Germans struggling for ultimate power. But essentially, he's wearing a spacesuit and he is the only one to be doing so our other characters are still in their traditional garments so why is this a lot of you may brush it off as a playful nod towards the space theme of the map so okay why is everyone not in one then others may speculate that it might be a hint at the future map of moon which may be correct in a very very minute manner we'll get to that more in a second others like me may see where this might be going and start piecing it together. Not seeing it yet? Well, that's okay because we'll get there. Let's move on to our second piece of our clues here, the Ascension thumbnail. When the map first launched, this was our thumbnail, but shortly thereafter it changed to this on screen. The map had a few patches to it and the thumbnail then became changed to this, and I can't quite say that I was paying much attention to the community's uproar in 2011, so I couldn't much tell you if this caused too much of a stir or not. But it doesn't seem like much, does it? That's where you're wrong. Potentially, this is a whole deeper meaning to what this could essentially mean. A glitch in an image at the time may not have seemed like much, but to me it seems like a revisitation or an alteration of some sort to the map. Treyarch does absolutely everything for a reason. If we don't know this at this point, we may as well not even try and divulge into the understanding of the zombie storyline. With our recent knowledge of multiple dimensions, time travel, and certainly what may be an imminent moon remake, not to mention the fact that Richtofen time traveled for two years to multiple dimensions to revisit various pieces of the story without Primus knowing where he was, isn't it quite peculiar that he is the only one donning a spacesuit that is what we thought was previously out of the timeline's chronological events? If he is yet to visit Moon, why does he alone have a spacesuit? If we have not had a second encounter, why change the thumbnail at all? We know of the travels, and we know of the multiple dimensions, and we know of the revisitations. It's just now all a matter of time until we put it all together. So Gersh was never the reason our four characters went there, they went there for the sake of revisiting, to perhaps set something right, and to perhaps link up with our current storyline that we have right now. So I want you to bear in mind that we must be open-minded here for this and it's all a working theory, and I'm gonna leave you with that. Now, please leave your thoughts down there on this below. It may seem mind-bending here, but I would honestly love to hear your opinions on this. If you guys did like this video at all, be sure to leave a like rating down below. It really does help the video out. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 20,000 subscribers, so every little bit helps tremendously and is always greatly appreciated. But I want to thank you guys all for watching, and let's remember, Ascension is key. Take care, and peace.